everyone all right so we're driving around here it's been a while since I uploaded a video because uh, yeah we had a couple problems apart from uh, being busy uh, with our son and uh, other things uh, going on in life uh, now our van messed up did I say another word the transmission almost fell to the ground well uh, let's just say that I um, was strongly against uh, my dad purchasing that vehicle from a uh, unreputable source if you know what I mean, but um, yeah, however, we're driving around to try to find a new car. And you would think that it would be pretty simple, right? But are you sure you're not putting your finger in front of the thing? I got it. Oh, okay. No, keep I, see going. It. Okay. <laughs> I see your finger in front of the thing. No, you're good. Oh, no. okay. No wonder. It's, a, it's no problem. I'm making a cute, just a quick video right here to try to explain to people some things. Like I was saying, we're going around trying to find a new vehicle. It's supposed to be pretty easy, right? Well, uh, it doesn't seem to be, at least not in heaven. You know, uh, there are no... Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. However, we're going to keep driving around trying to find something that uh, is acceptable, or at least acceptable to my dad, too, because he wants a van, another van and stuff, and everything that we've been seeing so far is messed up, cost too much money, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, finish with my little rant here. For today, I'm going to leave you to one of my old cooking videos. Have fun watching something from uh, my past a YouTube channel, which is now closed. The video quality is not as good as my, uh, yeah, thank you, as my current videos. And uh, some of the recipes, though, that I have on these videos are quite good. Uh, so instead of remaking them, I might repropose them. Let's start with this one. All right, enjoy. How's it going, people? Here we go with another recipe video, and today we're going to be making an uh, oven-roasted pork belly right here with the sauce at the end that we're going to show you how to create. I love pork belly, you know, because it's one of those uh, really cheap cuts of pork that you could get, but it's still packed with flavor, and if cooked right, comes out with a nice crispy skin. Delicious. So let's get on with it right here and show you that any of the ingredients that I got going on to make this dish with. Okay, well, obviously, I have a pork belly right here, you know. Depends sometimes where you go to your butcher, you might find your pork belly to be larger, smaller, so forth and so forth. However, we're going to show you the technique to cook this for it to come out with a delicious and uh, crispy crackling on top. So, moving on from there, pork belly. And then from there, we got some uh, black pepper right here. Some salt, obviously. A little handful of mint leaves. We're going to show you later what to do with them. Olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Got some Chardonnay white wine. Like I said, in all my other videos, you know, you could use whatever white wine you choose to uh, use if you feel like doing so. If you don't want to use Chardonnay, <clears throat> just use what you want to use as long as it's a good wine to drink. Moving from there, we got some sprigs of rosemary right here. Got some bay leaf. Got some star anise. Got some garlic. Got a good onion right here. Got some Thai red curry paste. And some Dijon mustard. There's a few other ingredients that I have at the end, flour and butter, to create a roux that we're going to use to make our sauce with, but we'll show you that part when it comes to it. So, let's start off with this. Before preparing our pork belly, let's just grab uh, this onion right here. What we want to do, we want to just cut this onion up, you know. Just cut your onion down into slices, you know. set these onions aside for a moment we're going to show you uh, what to do with them from now let's just get like uh, I would get like well it's just me because I like garlic you could decide to add less into it if you want to do so I'm gonna add four good garlic cloves in here okay now that we peeled down our garlic it's just simple just slice this garlic up you know Now what we want to do here is prepare our pork belly real quick. You know, with a sharp knife, 
just go ahead and score your skin. Don't go all the way into the meat. Just get it down into the skin a little bit into that fat. You can decide to do a straight cut, diagonal cut, you know, it depends on you. This one right here, I'm just going to do a straight cut on it. Okay, so we're finished scoring our uh, pork belly right here. Like I said, you could go diagonal cut if you feel like doing so. I just felt like going and doing a straight cut this time. It will work perfectly well. You can just move this aside. And then what we want to do, we want to just, uh, oh, here it is, excuse me. We want to just create like a wet rub for this by using some of this uh, Thai red curry paste. So let's just grab some of this uh, extra virgin olive oil. Just put like a few tablespoons in here. You know, a little plate or whatever you got going on. I don't know, a mixing bowl or whatever. Okay, from here, I'm just going to grab some of this curry paste. I mean, depends on you. You can add as much as this as you want. I'm going to add like a tablespoon in here, you know. This will give you a nice flavor on the outside of your pork belly when you cook it and give you some heat. That's why I told you you can add as much as you want. You like more heat, add more pork, uh, yeah, pork belly. What the hell? I got my, my head all screwed up today like usual. I mean, uh, red curry paste. Add more if you feel like doing so. However, let's just grab this, you know, just mix it all up in this olive oil. Create yourself like a, a nice wet paste in here that you're going to use to coat up your pork belly. Okay, we're done with this. We're just going to set this aside for the moment. Let's grab our pork belly again right here. What we want to do is grab some of this olive oil. Let's coat it on top and on the bottom of it. Okay, done with that step. We just grab some of this kosher salt right here. Let's give it a nice seasoning on all sides. First, we start with the bottom, a little kosher salt. A little pepper. Flip it over. Get that salt on nice into those cuts. More pepper. All right. So now we're ready to cook this. What we're going to do. Oh yeah, in the meanwhile, just before telling you this, I got my oven over here preheated at 320. So, you want to might want to do that before you start um, the next step, which I'm going to show you right now. Which is basically just grab your pork belly, just grab a pan right here. We're just going to get a little bit more olive oil, throw it in this pan, cold pan right here. You know, cold pan. Get this all coated on the bottom. Okay. Just gonna grab this pork belly, skin side down. We're gonna put it in this pan and turn on the heat on high. This helps to uh, render out that fat from that skin right there and helps out on the crisping process. So we're just gonna wait for this to go all nice and hot, render out some of that fat and brown that skin all the bottom. When it gets up to that point, we'll show you the next step. Okay, you know, so I let my uh, skin on my pork belly right here all brown up nice. Excuse me, if I took my jacket off, but it's raining like a crazy motherfucker out there, and it was cold, but now I'm hot, so hey. All right, there we go. Let's just pull this out, put his skin side down on a cutting board right here, turn the heat off over here, and then where do I got it? Oh, yes, my um, wet rub that I created with the uh, curry paste, what we want to do, we want to just grab this, and just paint only the meat, not the skin, only the underside and the meat of this with all this curry paste uh, wet rub, if you want to put it like that. Okay, we're finished with that. Now we got this uh, cast iron pan that I was uh, browning up the skin on my pork belly on. What we want to do, excuse me, we keep forgetting things on this side, but hey. Okay, we want to grab some of this white wine, but before doing that, let's just grab all these onions right here. Put them in this pan, together with our garlic that we sliced up. I'm going to add some of this white wine. I want to add enough to cover up these, uh, these slices of onion and this garlic. You know, it depends on you how big your pan is. I'm not going to sit here and give you a measurement. You know, you figure it out. You just spread this all out. Oh, yeah, my oven is preheated. Okay, just spread this all out like that. And from there, I'm going to grab some of this bay leaf right here. Just a few bay leaves right here. Like uh, three or four bay leaves, that's fine. There we go. I have this in my hand. I might as well add it to it. 
And then from there, I'm gonna grab some star anise. Just piss this on, put this all in there. And then from there, let's just grab our pork belly, skin side up this time. Just place it on top of all these onions and this garlic inside of that white wine. I was saying I put my pork belly in here and this uh, wine on top of all these uh, onions, the garlic and everything else that I added in here. What I want to do, I just want to grab, oops, I just want to grab this uh, cast iron pan right here and put it on the bottom rack of my oven. Oven preheated at uh, 320 I said. Let's close this up. And this will uh, take about an hour and a half to two hours depending on the size of your pork belly. But your indicator, indicator right here to uh, you know figure out whether or not it's cooked properly is to figure out that skin when it becomes nice and crispy. So we're going to come back in an hour, check how it's going and stuff, or half hour since I got nothing else to do. However, when it comes time to it, we'll show you. Okay, excuse me, want people. I'm running around with that like a chicken with my head cut off today, so I just happened to forget one ingredient right here. I got my rosemary, but no problem at all. All we want to do, you know, I should have added this when I added my uh, onions and my garlic. I'm just going to put this down here, you know, in this water. I mean this uh, wine. Like I said, today is uh, pretty spreadful. I mean, I'm like crazy. However, just put it in there. There we go. Now we're going to do what I told you. Okay, you know, so it's been an hour and a half. So we're going to check on it real quick and see how it's going. That looks nice right there. Where's my knife? Okay. See. Yeah, that skin needs a little bit more time to crisp up. Like I said, it depends on uh, the size of your pork belly. An hour and a half, come check on it, you know. Most times, an hour and a half would be sufficient if you have a small one. I have a pretty big one right here. It has a lot of meat on it. So it might go two hours, two hours and a half. However, the key right here is to check your skin. When it's nice and crispy, that's when it's ready. But another thing you want to look at, that white wine that I put in there, you want to make sure it doesn't evaporate completely. If that's the case, you know, just come in here like I'm doing right now. Add a little bit more white wine on the bottom. Keep that moisture all in there, you know. There we go. Okay, that's good enough for now. So, we're just going to keep on letting this go. I'm going to close this right now. And Things yeah. fall today. It's like ridiculous, for real. I mean, however, yeah, this is the spoon that I wasn't even using. This is someone else's spoon, however. Like I was saying, put more moisture into that pan, you know, make sure it doesn't all completely evaporate on it because you want some of that moisture in there, you know, to be able to make the sauce at the end. Keep on going until you get that crispy crackling on the skin. We're going to do that, and then we're going to come back when it's ready. All right, you know, so I pulled my uh, pork belly out here out of the oven. See what we got right here. Nice. Yeah. That's just how I want it. Over here on this side, I just uh, threw out all the onions and all the other stuff that I had in a pan and strained out over here the pan juices. So what we're going to do, we're just going to leave our pork belly right here aside to uh, rest in the meanwhile. Excuse me. And then we're going to start preparing our sauce right here that we're going to pour on top of it and everything. So, we got some mint leaves right here. Just grab your mint leaves, you know, and just put them together. Try to get them from uh, the smallest, I mean the biggest on the bottom, going upwards towards the smallest, you know. Okay, just like that. Then what we want to do, you just want to roll them up. Grab your knife, you know. Just go through them. We want to give this a good mince. So, you know, keep on going. Okay, that's good. I'm just going to leave these over here on the side. And then on this side, that's where we're going to be preparing our sauce in. I got this pan right here. I'm just going to put the heat on high. Over here, I got about a tablespoon of uh, unsalted butter. Just going to drop this in here. Melt this down. Okay, I melted down my butter and it's nice and heated up right now. What I'm going to do next, where's my little spoon at? Oh, here we go. I'm just going to add two tablespoons of flour in here. Okay, mix this all, all nice together. Make, it, make the butter and the flour incorporate, turn into a paste. That's going to be the base of our roux. Okay, you know, keep on stirring this for a few minutes. Let your uh, butter and uh, flour paste over here all brown up real nice. Once it's ready with that, what we want to do, 
We want to grab, uh, yeah, these uh, pan juices that I had sitting around. We're going to drop them in here. Makes everything real nice. Okay, I got this paste right here. I dropped the heat to low. Next thing I got to do right here, I got like a cup of uh, chicken stock. I'm just going to drop this in here. You know, makes everything up all nice and get this to thin all out. After that, now that I got it more of a thinner paste, I'm going to add some Worcestershire sauce in here. About a tablespoon. Makes everything up all nice again, you know. Okay, from here, I'm just going to add a little pinch of salt to just taste this in it. It needs a little bit more salt. I'm just going to crack in there some black pepper. Then, I'm going to grab some Dijon mustard right here. One tablespoon of Dijon mustard. We're going to mix everything up again. Okay, so at this point, you know, let's just taste test it. Mm. That's delicious right there. So, I mean, uh, you can serve your uh, pork belly with a thick sauce like this if you feel like doing so. You know, if you want to use it like barbecue sauce or something. I prefer more of a thinner sauce. So I'm going to add some more chicken stock of water in here. You know, just to thin it out. Okay, I guess you guys pretty much got it from here. We're going to serve our, our pork belly that we're going to cut up right now. And uh, we're going to serve on top of this sauce. But before we do that, let me just uh, add the final touch in here. Which I got this uh, messed up mint leaves right here that I got. That I cut up earlier. I'm just going to pour it in here. There we go. Just mix this all up real nice. And that's it. So we're going to serve this up. And we're going to show you the finished product. Okay, you know, so we finished up everything. Right here, you know, like I said, I cut up my pork belly into portions that, uh, the size that I wanted. Just poured some of that sauce on top. Well, I obviously dressed it up a little bit cuter and stuff. You guys don't have to necessarily do that. I put some habanero sauce on top of mine. If you feel like putting some hot sauce on top of yours as well, go ahead and do so. Well, hey, uh, I, I love pork belly. Like I said, it's cheap, you know, delicious. Uh, you just have but to not good for women who has to keep a... Well, yeah, of you course, know. this is not something that you want to be eating every day considering no, the fat don't. content and everything. It will clog up your arteries and all that cute stuff. This However... Is, for women, this is like a once in a great while kind of thing, you know? Hey, I guess. You know, yeah, I guess it depends on the individual. But like I said, this is a bomb-ass recipe to make, <laughs> especially with this sauce all covered on top of that crispy skin and everything. Try this out sometime. Make sure uh, to... Uh, Subscribe on this side or that side. I don't remember which one it is. If you like what you see, more videos coming up pretty soon. Till next time, we'll see you. The pig. See how crispy that is? Sorry, guys. Just had to do it.